Let's pretend you never gouged your eyes out while seeing that. Okay? Good.
shit you Cause you know damn well if this is true as much as I do So you got to listen closely Oh, by the way, I should point out The world's 14 most polluted cities are all in one country That being India And India, as we all know, is the most populated nation in the world Housing about one-seventh or possibly two-thirteenths of the world's population at around, I'd say, 1.4 billion. And you know why? Because democracy, because socialism, fascism, illegal immigration, all that shit, people using religion as a crutch, not as a gateway, and people going broke, for instance. What about that? The weirdest ways people have gone broke. I know! The lottery! Going on TV to air your grievances. Slandering somebody. Lying about something. Mari show. Tablet. Freaking tabloid TV shows. Talent shows. Nationally syndicated and televised for all the world to see. You know, shit like that. And a driver in a deadly New York crash. New Jersey, I should say. 14 license suspensions before this crash happened. Hawaii volcano, three weeks in, no end in sight. A long-standing eruption for months to come. EPA again bars reporters from water pollution event. That's obvious because they're full of Democrat dick-sucking jackasses. Your reality for high schoolers calculating the risk of getting shot. Oh, I don't know, one in, say, one! Because it's bound to happen now, because we got too many illegal immigrants, too many homegrown terrorists, too many Mexicans sneaking in our borders. I have nothing against anybody, I'll tell you that now. The king of the shit mountain. I mean, come on, you know. You ever heard of the king of shit mountain, right? Nobody's ever heard of that? Look it up on Google. Robert Mueller, the mule, the jackass. There's a reason why he has the word mule in his last name, because he's a big, fat, donkey dick sucking jackass. You know, James Comey, you know him, right? I mean, seriously, though, seriously, though, you know all this is, is just tying into one, all in complete synchronicity, don't you? The actors at the Parkland shooting, they're all actors, by the way. Or at least many of them, I should say. Especially David Hogg, the gun control activist who wants to fucking push the Democrats' dick-sucking, satanic agenda down our fucking throats for no good reason whatsoever. And you wonder why how many high schoolers get shot. So many high schoolers getting shot, all because of democracy, because Democrats and the very Illuminati, the deep state deep in shit, hashtag deep state deep in shit, look that up on Twitter, you will find a lot, and you'll find exactly what you're fucking looking for right there, motherfucker. Yeah, you understand? You understand? Bus drivers getting their licenses suspended 14 times for a major crash, making the headlines on CBS. A guy with the last name that literally indicates that he's a Democrat and a donkey and full of horseshit. You know, Maxine Waters, why hasn't anybody charged her with high treason and committed her to an institution yet? I have no idea. You know, Columbine, Sandy Hook, freaking every mass shooting in history of the last fucking 60 plus years. Who orchestrated those? Democrats, Marxists, Socialists, Fascists, Zentists, Bohemian Grovers. And you wonder why this world is so fucked. Because we continue to fall for that crap, that's why. You wonder why God's so mad at us. Because we don't need it! <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, Joe Biden. Morning, Joe Biden. 
Grabbing, grabbing him by the pussy. Popular. Only two money streets you get on CNN. <laughs> actually, actually, uh, I was on the part of it. Morning Joe, Joe Biden actually airs on MSNBC, which is basically a watered-down version of CNN. So, so technically, I was part of the way right, which makes a lot of sense, I would think. Not that anybody cares, but, you know. Russia, Russia, Russia alert! Morning Joe still pushing the face Russian fairy tales, even with zero evidence after one year. Joe is still pushing that canal? Morning, Joe Biden. Then go fuck yourself. All right, now, now check this out. Check this out. You're never going to believe this. You're never going to believe this. I don't expect you to believe this. But back in 2016, my friend Sharon Dickinson at Zoo Lady. Well, I'm, I'm just going to tell you because, I mean, you, you already... You saw this, didn't you, on Twitter? This is back in July 2016, about a couple weeks after my 23rd birthday. So, Bone and Marin suggested in her retweet of his post, or is it her post, I don't know, that next January, meaning January of last year, 2017, they should replace Scarborough with Biden. Ratings would go up, and it could still be called Morning Joe. Guess what? Two years later, they haven't replaced him with Biden, and it's still going down the fucking tubes. Down the little shithole. Huh? Yeah, that makes a lot of sense when you consider the fact that... Oh my god, I'm shot! Everything that you see here is caused by democracy. Except it's not really democracy. It's socialism, fascism, Marxism, communism, terrorism, organized war crime, felonies, and all that other bullshit. By the way, that's been committed by the Bavarian Illuminati for more than 250 years, and by the people in charge of it, namely the Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, the Soroses, and the rest of the people who attend Bohemian Grove to participate in satanic rituals every July around this time, huh? I mean, good lord, man. Seriously? You expect me to believe that? But back to the story. Back to the story. You would think, you would think that Joe Scarborough would have a brain cell in him or a wit about him to just call Trump what he is, the greatest president that ever lived, especially considering how he got so much done in the last 18 months despite complete and unanimous obstruction of justice and opposition by the so-called Democratic Party. Let that sink in. And that's not counting the fact that Nancy Pelosi, which I'll get to her in a minute, disapproved of Trump's entire speech during the State of the Union from earlier this year in 2018, which I'll also get to her later. So, I mean, yeah. Speaking of which, I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to get to that right now. Do hundred mil. And I feel so chill. Do hundred mil. And yet, her annual salary for her 28 years in office was 193400 which means she technically gained during her time in office $5,415,000, and yet her net worth is worth 200 billion. Why? Why is it? Why is that? I'll tell you why. She stole it from us. She duped us into giving her our hard-earned money, which we spent countless hours a day and week working for, and yet, what did she spend it on? Her ego. Her bullshit, socialist, fascist, democratic dictatorship of a party, and their Bavarian Illuminati regime, which, by the way, was designed to fail, very much of a shocker there. And yet, we have all these memes, all these memes, pointing out how full of bullshit she is, based on the 
that, that picture right here. Notice this. This is the face she made when Donald Trump spoke at the 2018 State of the Union address, and she was not impressed at all. That's because she doesn't know what a good policy is, because she's never fucking made one. Not that it does but... You understand, though? That's the face she makes when she knows she's full of shit, but she has to clap in. I mean, who's God? And, and look at all these people. Look at all these people posting memes about her. Yay! <laughs> Let's go make fun of Nancy Pelosi! <laughs> Everybody needs to poop. That's why we want you! Watching Nancy Pelosi sit in the gallery tonight, watching it in your mother when you were seven in church and you knew she wanted to smack the hell out of you but she couldn't in public even though you knew you were wrong for what you were doing. Gee, I haven't seen some of this salty since when he cut a spicy nugget deal and made it saltless. Yay! Oh no, you are not standing back for the rent! That's what Nancy Pelosi scolded the Democrat and ordered the Democrat to do her. By the way, this Democrat actually has nuts, unlike anyone else in the Democratic Party. And this Democrat wanted to stand for Trump because that Democrat knew, just like all Democrats should know, that everything that Trump says is right. But apparently this Democrat who dared to stand was the only logically thinking Democrat on the whole damn place that night, and yet Nancy Pelosi, someone who doesn't work a day in her fucking life, doesn't know anything, her brain is as dumb as a box of rocks, her body is as dumb as a box of rocks, she has no fucking brain cell whatsoever in any part of her body, not even her tits, and don't get me started because she has not, yeah, I just went there. We'll just, just edit that, that shit. Nah, I'm not gonna, gonna edit that out. But Lucy chewing on my pod, Kennedy drooling in the black cock, and it's not laughing when Trump announced lack of employment at all times. Okay! <laughs> oh, by the way, by the way, by the way, look at this. This means it's just so true, so true. This. Nancy Pelosi stood and talked for eight hours! But she would not stand for ten fucking godforsaken seconds to honor a family who lost a child to the animals at MS-13. Pretty shocking, right? No, 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 wait, 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 wait. This, this gets even better. This gets so much better. This is from another good friend of mine, a fellow human being, at the typical word world. Notice the underlines right here. You know? Those underscores. But anyway, the typical liberal says it best when this post literally made this Twitter's day, in a nutshell. I mean, this, this guy couldn't stop laughing. He, he damn near laughed himself to death. It was so funny. But at the same time, it's true, too, and very ironic. I mean, you're not going to believe this. A jellyfish mouth is also its anus. Just like Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi, and Maxine Waters. Because apparently all they do is suck the donkey's dick, because that's all they care about. They want to ride Satan's ass like no one else's business. And, and we, we all know, know that they're in league with Satan, Satan, but you know. Who fucking cares? Ah, sankity sank, sankity sank. Sankity sank, sankity sank. Sankity sank, sankity sank, sankity sank, sankity sank. And here we have a post from my friend Floyd Rivers with a really informative post on today's failed educational system. Why the hell don't all schools have metal detectors and arm guards? You can't get into a freaking baseball game without going through a metal detector. School kids are like sitting ducks. 
the only, only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. America! Another perfectly valid reason to homeschool your children. Get the hashtag trending. It's like Reefer Madness, except the educational system is marijuana, and those under its influence are the brainwashed students paying $200,000 annually for useless paper of false promises and horseshit all the white house. Yeah, the kids shanking and shanking that chain. So my friend, education for lips. That's his at sign, by the way. His Twitter name is education. But this guy says that Democratic Representative Al Green says that he has the right and privilege to impeach the president. Yeah. On what grounds? You can't impeach somebody because you have a sensitive asshole and don't like him. It's time to grow up, Al. I mean, the fucking brainlessness of Democrats is just jaw-dropping and laughable. I mean, this is the kind of shit you'd see in a Tex Avery cartoon. For fuck's sake, man. I mean, just fucking head to the bastard border and just kill yourself or whatever. I don't fucking know. You expect me to feel sorry for you, Mr. Green? You expect me to feel sorry for you because you feel like you have a right and privilege to impeach the president even though you know good and damn well that you don't? Because anything you say is bullshit? I don't think so. Uh-uh. Continuing our list, or first I should say, we're on a shankity shank. We have my friend Tom Payne with a really good, accurate post. Of a repost of a post or some shit like that. For the fake news media, while trying to equate Hillary Clinton's home drew email server in the 10 million classified materials to Trump's use of a secure OITHEN. Well, it makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Since they've always been full of shit. That's all they're good at, is being full of donkey shit. And sucking the horse's dick and just lapping it up like fucking dicks that they fucking are because they don't know anything because they don't know any better and they choose not to know any better because liberalism is selective retardation and the deep state's even shit. Yeah! The purpose has to build profits. You can't live without your profits. Gotta get my profits. Yeah, my profits. Who fucking cares? You fucking hit me with a joke. And concluding our round of this, First ever double S, you know what I'm talking about, right? Mark Van Patriot posted something an hour ago as of this recording regarding this libtard named Keith Ellis. He says, referring to a president of the set today, in a liberal judge's courtroom, who assumes like a president was set today, should I sue Keith Ellis for having me blocked on Twitter? I say go for it. You'll definitely get a huge family for sure. You'll get a bunch of money from that, man. Seriously. Because you just became a rich man now that he blocked you. So I say sue his ass for everything he's got and take all his money because you freaking deserve it, buddy. After the shit you've been put through. No sarcasm anyway. I mean, seriously, though, man. You just became a rich man. So go for it. I mean, un unless you're just used to, to liberals blocking you, I don't know who you are, but, but seriously though, man, good eye. Are you fucking kidding me? Dave Grohl, former member of Nirvana and current singer, songwriter, and guitarist for the Foo Fighters, kind of ironic, huh? This, this guy. This guy spoke at a recent festival. This guy. And Fox News Channel managed to extract one of his quotes from said festival. And this is what he had to say. He said, and I quote. These are his words, not mine. I'm ashamed of our president. I feel apologetic for my travel. Well, why don't you do us a fucking favor and do what fucking Kurt Cobain did in fucking 1994 and shoot yourself in the fucking mouth fucking day fucking Bud Dwyer style? I mean, fuck, man. What the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? What a fucking dick you are. What the fuck? I mean, it would be so much better that way. 
Seriously. I mean, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what, are you fucking, fucking kidding me? me? What, what a dick. dick. And that's all I got. So, until next time, I'll see you on social media and cyberspace. Goodbye. Spot the Liberal has been brought to you by my friend, GR Towner 59 Gary, from Twitter. Reminding you that for those who can't see, wake up! Swamp media, fake news. Democrats, socialists. The Democrats don't hate Trump, they hate America. Vote red. Always. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting, which is made possible by suckers like you. Thank you. Hey, we'll see you next time.